it the crack of doom for the famous and flamboyant Luz of Kawakawa, or just a little natural fracturing? Kawakawa people are worried that cracks appearing in their hundred a toilet building mean the work of art's in trouble. But others, including the far north mayor, are not concerned. Well, Lois Williams went to Kawakawa to take a look at the damage. See the, uh, where the original paint line is? That's because it's moving that way and down. Richard Smart is a worried man. The architectural designer who helped the famed Austrian artist Friedensreich Hundertwasser build the Kawakawa toilets in 1999 first noticed cracks in the building about four years ago and alerted the council. But in the past month or so, they've suddenly become much worse. He says the building's dropped about 70 millimetres on its eastern side, putting stress on the whole structure. The whole building is dropping on this corner a bit. But the building is also attached to that neighbour there. And while it's trying to go down here, other parts are hanging on. So you've got some attached and some going down, and that's why it's parting. You can actually see the, how the, the rubber uh, membrane is pulling up there. The roof's covered with a, a rubber membrane. Yeah, the it? whole thing. And then that eventually, of course, because it's going down, it's got to give somewhere. And, Richard Smart says the sinking may have been caused by water, lots of it, running through the scoria fill that was used to build up the embankment running along the north side of Kawakawa's main street. He says it's likely to be from a new natural spring. Tests have shown it's not stormwater, and council contractors say the drains are intact. But Christine Kerr, who's a tour guide and cleaner at the famous Luz, says there have also been major leaks from council water mains in recent times, including one that flooded the office of the work and income manager next door. Just recently, we had a break in a line at the front here, which, as that was repaired, we're now finding his room has dried out, and also the little alleyway down in between the two buildings has now dried. So it's... As that was fixed, that has dried out, but there is concern there is still water flowing under the building and in proximity. Richard Smart says there's nothing unsound about the Hundertwasser Wasser building or its foundations. He says they were built to code and the engineering work was carried out by Brown and Thompson, the company formerly owned by the far north mayor, Wayne Brown. Mr Brown says, as he remembers it, it was just the working drawings his company did back in 1999, but in any case, the problem's clearly of recent origin. As I recall, what we did was drafting for the council because um, Mr Hunterbice's drawings were a bit loose and we did some drafting to turn them into working drawings, but it was a council project. It was quite a long time ago. If there had been a problem with that, it would have shut up a lot sooner than 13 years. Wayne Brown says the council's investigating the cracking, but the toilets are safe and there's no need for panic. However, Kawakawa's Hundertwasser Trust says a sense of urgency would be nice. The chair, Noma Shepherd, says the building is the artist's legacy to New Zealand and it's been the making of his adopted hometown. Oh, they've changed the whole structure of the town, really, because it's become a tourist town, whereas before they'd lost their way, they didn't really have a, a way to go <laughs> because they'd lost the council and on all sorts of things. But now it's really gone ahead and people sort of see it as a destination, not just somewhere to pass through. <laughs> the Far North District Council says it expects a full engineering report on the sinister cracks today.